Hello, in this video, we are talking about how to do urban mapping on an online AI platform, which is I Know World. So once you uh, go into Google and search up I Know Dot World, you get into this website, which is free uh, for a period of time, and then you have to subscribe. So let's try the free version. And then once you click here, you get to open your own new project and on top also it just shows 10 uh, prompts that you can do that is 10 projects that you can do in the free version so let's start a new project the interface looks similar to a map box or a, a open street map and in this let's toggle towards the melbourne area here you can uh, add your project name and then this is a place where you ask or type in the question for AI to search where you type in what you want to, what data you want to collect. And here you get to share an export column where you can either send the link to someone to work on it together and uh, similar to a Google Drive. And here you get to export the file uh, in GSN uh, file, CSV. PNG and PDF, you need to upgrade. That is the paid version. In paid version, you can send the PDF just like Mapbox. So for now in trial version, let's see what all data we can capture. So let's pick up Hawthorne area near university. And below you see different options where you can pin the location and you see the rectangle to mark uh, the place. And here, uh, let's type what we want to search. Let's try tram stops in Hawthorne. It takes a while to generate the information and uh, take data in, and it shows us uh, how long it takes uh to data you can skip you can just skip into the part where it's which uh finishes the progress and now once it's done you get to see by default uh annotations it uh pops up and here you get to see how it's identified the area and how it identified the question that you've asked so it shows uh that it has uh marked in a pink color uh, icon this is a 16 row tram and 72 and this is the layer that's created now below you get you get to see pin location and polygons if you go into pin you can use it just like uh, google maps let's pin into the university now that is the second uh, element which is like a layer and you can still edit how it looks and create an icon for it. And this is Polygon where you create a block or a building for your urban analysis. And then that becomes another layer. And you can add different routes from one point to another. Click here in a random place. And that adds another layer now you can still change the way the map looks like a map box let's try this one you can still uh, give you customized uh, background color for it <coughs> now let's uh, ask another question parks near Hawthorne or you can even give a particular uh, radius to cover. Let's say it parks in two kilometers from Hawthorne. It uh, suggests two uh, questions, which is like a buffer zone around the Hawthorne or uh, parks in buffer zones. So it will once the progress is done, it will give you two 
layers or two options this is the first one which is parks in hawthorne <coughs> and the second one is the entire buffer zones that can be called as an open space or a park which doesn't have an identity identified location you can hide the layer and see how the parks are highlighted it gives a default setting go here and edit or design your uh, uh, icons or how you want the layer to look like give it a fill and stroke according to your uh, representation let's give a green shear with a little bit of contrast thickness for stroke it's up to you to give an icon if it's not also it's good you can label it according to your categories that you want to analyze on if you don't want also that's fine so that's how you uh, basically get one uh, urban element and you can give it an area analyze asks ask for it analyze it or maybe still alter how your layers look like here are all the um, layers or all the questions that you've asked ai will be in different layers you can play around with the color uh, transparency so it still gives a uh, data in a map format which is a uh, free and you don't have to download any software for it This one was the buffer zone that uh, it identifies, which we don't need it. In case you need a layer or you don't need, you can still have the option of hiding it and unhiding it. And then next, let's ask parcels or buildings with five floors in Hawthorne. So it should be able to identify all the parcels, footprints, which are of this given floors so just like we uh, have shp files for qgis in this you don't need to add in any data it automatically takes the online data and gives it in the map format so it's detecting different uh, element like buildings with five floors in the let's see how it comes now you see the entire Hawthorne area is colored it came it came up with two different layers if you see there's purple and pink so buildings in Hawthorne and buildings with five floors in Hawthorne so if it has a doubt on or it needs more specification it gives you more layers and more details on so that you have the control on which you want to which data you want to have so you can still uh, again similar to that you can still uh, edit how you want the layer to look like you can still so it's very simple you don't need to import any data upload anything or add a open street map it's like a free map on which it will grab all the online data and give you the information you can change the visualization style like this similar to qgis and a map box So if it was an upgraded version, we could have had GP, JPEG or PDF. Otherwise, GeoSyn and CVS file also can be taken and it's easy to download. It just comes right in your uh, system. So that's how you get to uh, get data online with free 
and with the correct and accurate data. Thank you for watching.